Hey, what's going on guys? Matt here, and welcome to a brand new video on my YouTube channel. This time, we are on PvP Lounge. Since all of the HCF servers are down, I figured I might as well start out a new... Well, it's not going to be a series. I feel like it's probably going to be a one-off video. Uh, but this is going to be how to Minecraft PvP. This isn't going to be how I PvP, but this is going to be how to Minecraft PvP. Now, there are a lot of people uh, who still don't know how to PvP. And I'm not going to say that I'm the most experienced PvP -er. I know everything, you know. Um, but I'm just going to teach you what I've learned and what's made me a better player. And yeah, hopefully you guys can learn something from this video. Uh, again, I just have to stress, I am not the best Minecraft PvP -er whatsoever. Uh, but some of these tips may help you, and I hope they do. But guys, if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. Let's see if we can get 30 likes on this video. I will be doing Arcane and Viper as soon as start of the world releases, so that is going to be really, really nice. So thank you guys for clicking this video, and let's jump into our first match. Okay, guys, so we got a fight against Sir Leandro. Uh, never really heard of this guy, uh, so he's not really an active PvP lounge player. Uh, I don't think. But yeah, the texture pack will be in the description if you would like it. I feel like it's a really nice text pack. It is only a 32 uh, times text pack if I show you real quick. Uh, it is only 32 times, so that's why it's all pixely and stuff, as you can see. There's not, like, many uh, textures on wool and stuff like that. It's literally just the armor and potions and stuff, so... Um, yeah, alright, so the first thing, Minecraft PvP. You realistically want to continue AD strafing. That's the first thing I never knew how to do. Uh, it's the first thing I was taught how to do. Like, that guy just AD strafed me there. Uh, AD strafing, I probably should have got the keystrokes mod for this, I feel like. Um, but you should... Uh, consistently press A and D, and that's it. You should consistently press A and D. Uh, if you don't, you're not. You're going to be holding W all the time. I mean, I hold zero. zero? I hold W the majority of the time anyway. Um, so like, I'm trying to A D A D A D, and the whole point of A D strafing uh, is to mess up their aim. Because if they mess up their aim, then they're not going to be able to hit you. And if they don't hit you, <laughs> then you're going to get them in a combo. Um, that's how it works, realistically. Uh, see, this guy, uh, I think, yeah, he's he's an average PvPer, so uh, he's probably not going to get in too many combos from AD strafing, uh, as you can see. Um, but I feel like you just need to practice that. It's not something that I can just say, do AD strafing, because uh, obviously there's a lot of things that come with it. You have to aim. Uh, you have to learn how to W-tap, which is another thing that I'll get into. Uh, he wants the truce real quick. Let's see what he's talking about. Okay, so he's back. So I'm going to talk about the W-tap real quick. So that's basically where you tap W. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a good example on this guy. Uh, but usually, uh, you should have the toggle sprint mod uh, in your mods folder if you're playing 1.7 or 1.8 forge. Um, and it allows you to continue sprinting even when you take damage because in vanilla Minecraft, if you get hit, it stops you from sprinting. Uh, and this mod, what it does is it just continues sprinting right after you take damage. Uh, that guy just got a weird hit there, but I don't think he's cheating. Uh, but I'm so far, I'm not. There we go. All right, that, so that was a little W tap. I didn't get the best combo on him. Um, but I'm hoping that kind of showed you. I'm going to try and get more examples real quick. Yeah, it is very difficult to hit a W tap on this guy because his aim doesn't suck. Um, yeah, I do not believe it's possible to uh, uh, W tap this guy. I'm going to get into another fight in a second and then I'll try and W tap the guy. Um, another quick... I'm probably going to lose this because I've not even been paying attention. I've just been trying to W tap the entire game. So after this, I'm going to show you how to uh, S tap which is another cool feature. That's what I just got on in there. This is a W tap right there. That was a good example, I guess. Um, I don't know. If you want, you can just Google W taps. Uh, you just have to consistently tap W, and eventually you'll get them in a combo if they mess up. Uh, so I'm going to hop into another match real quick. I'm going to show you what an S tap is. Now, an S tap is even harder than the W tap to, to hit, um, but what it does is it allows you to hit them before they can touch you. Uh, and what it does is you basically go forward a tiny bit. You press W to go forward. Like, so you go forward, hit, and then back. So basically, you're going to be able to hit them in the millisecond uh, where they can't hit you, which is really, really OP. Uh, so I'm going to try and get a, a stap on this guy. Uh, chances are very unlikely because uh, on EU servers, obviously, the KB is uh, limited. Uh, so let's see if we can get a nice little S tap on this guy. So far, it's not looking like we can. 
Oh, I messed up my aim there. I feel like I probably would have got it there. Um, okay, let's just keep trying. Uh, yeah, this guy, I'm not going to be able to get an S-tap on this guy, I don't think. Um, but let me just keep trying real quick. I'll cut back if I end up making one. There you go. That was a small example. Uh, it wasn't the best, obviously. I'm just potting like, as little as I can, because I kind of just want to try as much as I can. There you go. I got a small one-hit combo there on him, uh, as you saw, because he couldn't touch me. Uh, it's really difficult to get S-taps, as I'm saying. Uh, but it is very beneficial if your opponent always holds W. Because uh, obviously uh, it'll be beneficial. Hold on. I'm going to... Come on. This guy. Uh, real... Right. So if you're wondering how to actually perform it, uh, you just need to uh, get him in a W tap first. And once you get him in the W tap, you can continue to get him in the S tap. And it's a really OP combo technique. Because uh, honestly, it's just it looks like blatant reach. Because they seriously cannot touch you, whereas they, uh, you can touch them, whereas they cannot touch you, and it's really, really OP. Uh, but I'm going to stop talking about the S-Tap, let's get into block hitting. Okay, so block hitting is actually just like W-Tapping, because what it does is it stops your sprint, as you can see, it stops your sprint. So when you block it, it stops your sprint, yeah? It's just like a W-Tap, except a bit more effective, because you don't have to tap W, and you can consistently hold W. Um, so let's just show you a quick example. So you go, you block it like that, and it stops you from sprinting. And it's honestly really OP. Oh, let's just throw a pot on this guy because I kind of was just a bit aggressive there. All right, let's go. Uh, so I'm just gonna block it this game. Uh, let's see if we can get into any combos. Uh, I'm obviously gonna be AD strafing as well because uh, that's obviously what you have to do as well. Uh, you can do it in W taps as well. Uh, a block it that is. Uh, some people like to block hit spam, and it is quite OP if they wanted to... <laughs> that was a W tap, uh, and a block hit, but that was a good example of both, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was just a block hit. It literally just stops you from sprinting, which allows you to mimic a W tap. Uh, I, fi I find it to be quite OP. Okay, so I think the final thing I'm actually going to talk about is potions, and how to pot yourself, how to refill your inventory, how to be aggressive... Uh, those little things that have to do with potions. So let's hop into another unranked game. Now, the main thing you want to do with potions is you want to conserve them like crazy because one pot could mean the difference between life and death. And it's on honestly, you wouldn't believe it, but trust me, if you're playing HCF or whatever, one pot could mean the difference. So uh, if you don't know how to pot, you want to run into your pot. That's literally like that guy there, he just turned and potted and missed it. Uh, entirely so he's down one pot uh, we aren't which is really nice um, but yeah this guy is kind of getting wrecked right now uh, I want to show you an example of refilling in a second we have to wait for him so this guy is really bad at potting which is good for us uh, he just pulled into us so refilling you want to you want to get into a position to refill which is really comfortable for you I personally like to go right to left you may like to go top to bottom uh, but I go right to left like that and the way you can improve your potting speed is to just work on your aim. Because if you can aim where your pots are perfectly every single time, uh, you'll be able to click really fast and get your pots into your inventory. So, like, bang, like that. Uh, that wasn't obviously fast, but that's a good example of what I mean. Um, so, this guy, uh, he's not the best at potting, you can see, uh, probably. Uh, well, he just landed a pot there. For see, he hit me off pots there, uh, which is really unfortunate. Now... How you want to, the way I determine, well, the way I like to see people uh, when I'm being aggro is I like to count how many potions are on their hotbar. So, uh, by default, realistically, you should have six potions on your hotbar. So, you just want to fight them and you want to count how many potions they splash. As soon as they splash six, if you've still got potions on your hotbar, you should be aggressive as shit because they still haven't refilled. This guy is absolutely destroying me right now. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, but as I'm saying, you really want to just count as many, uh, how many, uh, that was a W tap, that was a really good example. Uh, but you just want to count how many potions, he splashed two, so he should have four, I've splashed one, uh, so now, he, oh god, he should have three now. Uh, oh, he missed that part, so he's gonna have to splash another one. Yeah, he needs to refill, so let's pearl after him real quick. There you go, be super aggressive. Um, pearling into people during a combo is a good idea as well. Uh, but that's only if you feel like you can return the combo. Um, and that is quite unlikely. However, it is a possibility. Uh, people sometimes just get angry. Uh, like this guy. He's probably really low on pot. 
I just dropped the pot there. Uh, that was because I accidentally pressed Q. Not Q, my, I accidentally pressed my drop button, unfortunately. This guy is kind of getting wrecked. Uh, I don't know if I spoke about potions and how to pot into them. You basically just want to run into them. So like this, you just want to... Really, this guy? Right, so you just want to keep running. Uh, look straight forward. You don't... This guy's being so aggressive. Right, let me just destroy this kid real quick. Right, I can actually S-type this kid, I think. No, I can't. Never mind. This kid is being so aggressive. He missed that part. Alright. Yeah, you better keep running, boy. Alright. Yeah, I think he's out of pots anyway. Alright, let's just wreck this guy. Uh, but you saw what I meant there about, um, you know, running into your pots. It's the best thing that you can do. Uh, but this guy kind of sucks, I'm going to lie. Um, I think that's him out of pots being aggro there. There you go. I was just aggro there, uh, pearling into him. Because uh, I knew he was quite low, and it forced him to double pot. I think if he still has pots left, that's going to be really interesting. Because I have kind of destroyed him. Well, I mean, technically it wouldn't be too uh, surprising, because I haven't really been trying this entire match, have I? There we go. All right, so he was out of pots there. Um, so, good fight, my man. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let's see if we can get 30 likes on this video. That would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We are nearly at 1,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get it by the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.